this is the famous 28 tram and it's an icon of Lisbon. Not only is it an icon, bye, there it goes. <laughs> but <laughs> Uh, it's probably the best scenic tour you can have of Lisbon is by taking the number 28 tram. It starts here in Martin Munoz Square, uh, which is just kind of in the central part. And it goes up the hill, winds its way around the like tiny, narrow, cobbled streets of Alfama district through the old town of Lisbon down towards the port, plus uh, Plaza Comercio. And it winds its way all the way to What's the place? It's called, um, the Ororo, Campo um, or, or, yeah. or, Orique? It's about uh, an eight kilometre journey that takes about 40 minutes and you get to see all the best bits of Lisbon and you get to ride in one of the historic trams. These things, it said they were from the 1930s. I've also heard that they're almost 100 years old. They're old and rattly and the, trains need, uh, the trams needed to be upgraded um, recently, I think. I think uh, the 1970s, that's yeah. what they're called Remodelados, yeah, they, they fixed the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because apparently they're a bit dodgy. Now they're really good. Get on board. It costs two euros. What do we think? I'm not too no, sure. We'll, we've got we'll uh, the edge on card. We'll tell you afterwards. We think it's one thirty or something like that each way uh, to ride the tram. It's got to be done. Like we're really, really looking forward to seeing it. Let's go and ride. So this is going to be our tram for the like 40, 45 minute journey. So it stops at yeah, Campo Urique, but the other name for that is Prazere. So just look out for that, number 28. Promises Wi-Fi. And because it's, you know, cover times, etc., there aren't many people traveling on, on at the moment. Normally they say they're absolutely packed and you've got to watch out for pickpockets because, um, you know, it's just a bit crammed and be careful. But at the moment, I think we've got it to ourselves. Bom dia. Bom dia. Para a Zélia. Para a Zélia. Ok. Ótimo. Obrigado. Got to go over there. Ah, ok. So you don't get it. Brilliant. That's good to know. So, we're over at the bus stop. Here's the timetable. Starting here at Martin Moniz. Ending here. Campo Urique. Brazeres. And I'll take a photo of the timetable. Well, you can always check it online. It's always the best thing to do. Here it goes, so excited. <laughs> to make sure like, we've got a via via gem card. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that was, I'm not too sure how much, but I'll be out of here. Got a lovely wooden interior. Mandy's just finding the right spot. Is yes. that good? You can open the windows so you can see outside. So beautiful. Look at the woodwork. I know, and yeah, they've real, got some real character, haven't they? Yeah, from the 1930s. Just brilliant. is getting too close to the edge because <laughs> the streets are quite narrow, the trees are close and you can have your head knocked off if you're not careful. Get going. 
and they really put their foot down. It's like a white knuckle ride. Awesome. It's not only a scenic tour, but like a mini roller coaster. Look how much space there is. <laughs> Almost took her head off. Now oh, around. We've come up to Gadaka now. This is quite a cool area with lots of restaurants and things and a lovely miradoro on the other side of the street. Ooh, cake shop. They look nice. Ooh, makes you want to get off. Pavement is probably about, hmm, I'd say a foot and a half wide at this stage. People just can't even walk past, they wait for the tram to go by before they step out. Gotta watch this step around here. So these are the yellow bus stops, to watch out for these, the tram stops, that's where you can get on and off. This one's uh, Grasa, so it's by the Grasa Mirador, which I think is just up that road. There's lots of tourist sites along the route, so you can take this tram to visit the tourist sites. We've left Grasa and we're heading down now to Alfama. We're heading near the, uh, I think it's the St. Ignacio Church. And this is where we know it starts getting hilly and windy. We did the walking tour around here the other day. So we're going past the monastery of San Vicente. So we're heading into Alfama now. This is where it starts getting steep and windy. Very old. So like, keep an eye out here. Look at this, look at how close we are to the pavement. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea for me to be hanging out the window. I might sort of lean back in a bit more. Oh my days. So we're still going for Alfama. If I get a chance, I'll turn around so you can look down some of the incredible alleyways. Another tram. Yeah, and some of the streets are at their narrowest. No room at all there. One of the Miradoros we saw the other day, I can't quite remember the name, Santa Maria, I'm not too sure but it's a glorious view out to the sea, some of the church, we're coming around, cobblestone streets, past, to, past the other Mirador. Lucky lucky men trying to sell bracelets, etc. Oh my days, it is, yeah, it's steep. It's always putting the brakes on. Banging it downhill now towards the cathedral, the stay of Lisbon. That's the Museum of Aljube. Former prison. This is a cathedral just here. The 
we walk past it the other day. And coming around this corner is where you stand by that yellow kiosk to get one of the most iconic photos of the number 28 tram. Pretty patterns. Now oh, we're just coming past the out of Oscar now. So we're down on the flat back in the centre. Oh, and there we have the arch, Arco Augusto. And now we're climbing again. And they're really, you can get some acceleration up, up even up the hills, the electric. Uh, the tram system works very well. Okay, being Lisbon, you come up the hill, you then go down the hill. By Chateado Metro. Very happening part of town this is. Chiado, Chiado, sorry, not sure of the pronunciation. Near we had lunch today. I love this bird cage type sculpture and the statue. Yep, we go Trevo there, great place for the founders. I recommend that. Very beautiful park. We were there the other day. 
you may see on another one of our videos. And they cross the road from it. The basilica. Great place to come and chill for a while in the park up here. Getting towards the tail end of the journey now. Opening up a little. So beautiful. Basilica de Sicilia. have it the end of the 28 journey mandy Yay. what did you think it was absolutely brilliant i yeah. mean <laughs> yeah. parts were a bit scary like i had my head out the window and i was thinking oh my yeah. word it you know you take your head off yeah they? take like, your hand off take the phone you're within you know inches I mean? of like street signs and yeah. awnings and passes by and so yeah. on yeah. yeah but it's and like a white knuckle ride i thought you know uh, it's like you're on a roller terrifying. coaster <laughs> there's one bit going down that hill i just thought oh no way thank god i'm actually looking through a camera and not you know let me take this off now not um you know out the window yeah sorry directly out the window because i'd have been so scared but you know for a scenic journey and a interesting ride what do you think uh i thought it was brilliant what did you think amazing like totally well worth i'm not quite sure we'll find out how much it cost us because we swiped our card but i think it might be somewhere between 130 and two euros or something like that it's yeah. a brilliant ride it's worth doing a great way to see lisbon and uh enjoyed it so much i think we're gonna go back aren't we yeah definitely <laughs> yeah. but um yeah those trams are just fantastic what a yeah. wonderful way to see this yeah. beautiful city a little piece of lisbon history right there sitting watching a lovely unornamented tram whilst having an espresso I topped it up with a tiny bit of water because oh my days it's strong 70 cents for one of these tiny but extremely powerful espressos sold you now it's time for our return trip on the number 28, this is one of the Coca-Cola ones. And we've just worked out that it actually costs 135 each if you use the Via Via Gem zapping, which is a brilliant way to go. Wonderful, wonderful number 28 tram journey. So 
hopefully we've been on the number 28 tram both ways awesome loved it totally yeah <laughs> going there it was all video coming back i just wanted to like check it out but it, white knuckle ride fantastic uh, scenic tour a bit of history of uh, lisbon right there yeah loved it all the way Great. brilliant best thing to do for one euro 35 we think so cool